You don't want the world to know now about who you is at home, do you? Who? So I advise you what you got to do the best way you got to go on and exit on on and live your best life and don't let the clout, you know, let nobody know how you is over there in the house, okay? Then you need to go on. 28, yo. Go on about your business. <laughs> I don't see him no more. Because, you know, I know your mama in real life. <laughs> I done had to pray with her, huh? Don't make me get on the phone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I survived you going to stay in your motherfucking lane. I'm 36, little boy. I'm too old to play with you. I don't want to play with you. I advise you going to fuck on on. Oh, he did come in. Okay. You you think I'm playing? You, you don't think? Okay, what did he come in and say? Because I can't see it coming. He said, baby, you weird, love. I'm going to show you how weird I am. <laughs> Let me find this goddamn boy mama. Hold on. I'm going to show his ass how weird I am. Mm-hmm. Because now I'm weird. See, I'm weird now. I wouldn't even be thinking about it. I wouldn't even think about the little boy. You see what I'm saying? I'm on my live mind. I've been here in the comments. I don't even see it coming. That's how irrelevant he is to me. Don't know nothing about me. Can't say nothing about me. Ain't never been around me in real life. You ain't talking to me through an app or what you see on YouTube. You don't know me, baby. Mm. So, I'm going to help you out. Oh Lord. What? No, I'm just that oh Lord. <laughs> Cause I'm tired of him just even playing with grown folk. He need to go somewhere and sit his ass down. Cause he's too motherfucking grown and people let this shit go on and they think it's a kiki and it's cute. I used to laugh at that shit too. That shit not nothing about that shit cute no more. And now how and how you tell lies and then you you a young man and you getting jealous already. Like, you already know what jealousy feel like. Like, you're jealous. Like, you, he know how to be jealous. You know what I'm saying? He know, like, he know how to have an attitude with you because he jealous. Because he can't believe that he ain't accomplished what he feel like he need to be in life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Miss Jasmine Masters, baby. <laughs> Miss Mama's been unfollowing me and say he went fucking with me no more. I'm trying to figure out what made him come back. Because I damn sure ain't went checking for you. And then when he get out his feelings, he call back, he texts you and say, hi, I just wanted to apologize if I offended you. It was all a joke. It's all love. Ain't This shit ain't no joke no more. It's becoming bigger than a joke. Oh, that's what he just DM'd you? No, that's what he, he always texts me. He texts me stuff like that all the time. But he's like, I'm not, I don't want to joke no more. Miss Mom? I don't want to joke with him. He think this shit be a joke and a kiki and it's something you're supposed to let somebody do. I'm not going to do none of that with you. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, I'm finna. I'm gonna keep watching. Okay, got it. All right. You ain't gotta talk about Gabe. I love Gabe. I fuck with Gabe. Fuck you. I love Gabe. We here bang. I fuck with Gabe. He a real one. Yeah, I said what I said. Mm -hmm. And I'm kidding about how y'all feeling. What y'all think about it? I'm not allowing no kid to get to me. I'm not pressed. I'm just letting you know about little Miss Mamas and telling Miss Mamas he need to stay in his place. I call his mama, and I'm not playing. And they ain't kids when they get on here and start talking about ruthless and reckless. Ain't no kids no more. Them folk grown people. Mm -hmm. But that attention shit is deep. You know what I'm saying? That attention shit is deep. Mm. The way y'all search for it, the shit that y'all do, it ain't right. Mm -mm. It ain't right. Mm -mm. It's terrible, and you and, and you, instead of you teaching your children something different, you all making them think it's okay. But how can we be mad at the children when the grown folk doing it? You know, you got overgrown people doing the same shit. You know, don't y'all have y'all not noticed in life? It does not matter. 
the same way people did them is gonna they gonna do you. You ain't notice that. Have you not noticed that we living in a fucked up time where don't nobody ride or nobody? You ain't noticed that. Have you not noticed how easy it is for a person to turn their back on you as if they never knew you? You ain't noticed that. It could be your best friend. It could be your sister. You haven't noticed that we're living in a time. We're living in a time where stuff is not the same no more. We're living in a time where somebody I make up a lie on you. I done been lied on all, all the time. Look, we not in the same times. They looking for validation. I ain't giving a fuck about validation no more. As long as God validate me, I'm okay. Because I have been figuring it out the world that we are part of. And it's something sick about it. It's some sick shit going on out here. I'm not vouching for nobody but me. But it's some sick shit going on out here. How you all reach for fame and how you want everybody want to be known. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? I respect the fact that everybody want somebody to know their name, man. I salute you for that. But it's how you going about doing the things you do. It, okay, so let's have a conversation. Let's sit back and let's think about something. To all the people in the world, all these 1,900 people who are here watching, I got a question for y'all, please. Please, I got a question. I just need y'all to be real with me. Don't leave. Just answer the question for me today. I want you to sit back and I want you to meditate on what I'm finna ask you because it's some deep. It ain't deep, but it's real. Now, to the people who get up every day and go to work and strive for the best. Striving for the best means I'm getting up, I'm going to work. If, if, if I'm a hairstylist, if I'm a nail tech, if I'm a massage therapist, if I'm a doctor, if I'm a lawyer, if I'm a nurse, if I work in somebody else's office, whatever it is that I'm doing, I get up every day and I go to work. Okay? And I'm working my way up. Because that's what you're supposed to do. This is one way. Now, for the people who work and doing what they're supposed to do and trying to go ahead and keep building their stuff and building, if you ever notice, some kind of way, God always keeps some money in their bank. He always come through even when they money when they done did. So say is they might have done bought some shoes and they shouldn't have did it. But God will still pay their bills. Amen. He'll still send a way to pay pay their bills. Because he done seen what they did. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. For the person. Now this this is for people who I already asked you one question. That's one question. Go my next question. For the people who don't do nothing but sit on their ass. I want to be your friend because of what you got. I don't want to work to help you. I just want to be your friend because of what you got. I don't want to work. I don't want to show us. I just want to be your friend because of what you got to get my stuff on. Ain't right. Hold up. For the people who sit on this, this thing and troll people and say negative things to people, or go live and cuss people out and feel like they this and they that, but they ain't never, they ain't never really worked. They ain't never lifted the finger to do nothing. They ain't never went in the in the world to see what it feel like to maneuver and get out here and work. See, when I say work, I mean really work. I'm not talking about running your mouth. I'm talking about like done work to ask your job, then did certain things to manifest things in your life. See, we living in a time where a motherfucker ain't never even had to work. They had to work. They had to do shit. Came on here and got into it with somebody. I did a, a stunt or whatever you call it. Even the actors and actresses. It ain't even right because you know the actors and the actresses, the actor and the actresses, they they went to work, believe it or not. Because when you on TV and when you on act, fuck a rally the TV. Fuck me. Take me out this shit. I'm talking about people who really do this shit, like the real actors and actresses who really do this shit. I ain't talking about no reality TV stuff. I'm talking about the real ones who been doing this shit since they was a child. You don't know that's a job. To be able to sit up there and read a goddamn line and for me to act like Teresa, for me to act like Charlie, that's a fucking job. Hold up. Hold up. But now something else done jumping in the lane. They got different stuff. Like back in the day, they used to have um, ep um, op uh, soap operas. It ain't no soap operas now. Like, she's real. She knows how to change into other people. 
Kerry Washington. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So wait a minute now. Now you got this thing power out of the TV. Well, you don't have to be like, they, 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 they took off soap operas to replace it with reality TV. So they gave more of normal, everyday people a chance to get on the fucking check the TV to, you know, say what they need to say, go about the way they was trying to go about it. But it kind of fucked some shit up. Because when it was a, when it was something on it, what word am I looking for? When it was some structure on it, we stayed structure. But now it's like everybody feel like I could be on reality star. I could be on TV one day, so I'm going to go do whatever it takes to goddamn try to get it there. And it's like, God damn it. That's what we done came to. So we might have made a problem for changing some things up because everybody in their mama now, that's all they want to be. That's all they aiming for because I want to be on TV. I want my face seen. I want to be known. I'm going to go big and cuss these folks out and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But when you get to the point you know that no shit comes with so much shit behind just being known, Lord. It comes with aggravation. It comes with pressure. It comes with depression. That shit come with a lot. That shit come with a lot. See? And um, how you see all these folk be dragging me, baby? Let me just tell you something. When you get on the other side, <laughs> your ass gonna get drugged too. It's just gonna be a bad deal if you ain't got no money while millions of people dragging you. You heard me. It's gonna be fucked up if you ain't got no money why millions of people drag you. And that's the only thing I think keep me going. Because I got God and God supply my needs. Hey, man, that's what keep me going. I ain't even talking about what I got because I ain't better than none of y'all. I mean, you know that I go to work. God gave me a talent and a gift. And I ain't talking about the TV thing. I'm saying outside of that. And I ain't lost my mind because I got God. And I know he supplied my needs. He told me if I go to work, he's going to bring what I need. So I'm going to go to work. He told me to treat people right. I'm going to do that too. I'm a following them things you're telling me to do, and I'm getting better and better by the day. But all I don't want to let you know is <laughs> when you get over here on this thing that you want so bad, I just pray <laughs> that you can handle all what comes with it. Okay? I just pray you can do that. I pray you can do it. I pray you can do it. <laughs> And fuck getting followers on Instagram. That shit's stupid. Y'all was trying, I'm trying to get my following up. What the fuck you trying to get your following up? Where your money at? You know what I'm saying? Like, where is your funds? The money is what's big. I love you too, girl. I'm trying to come up with some shit that I can sell to everyday people. Like, the hair stuff cool. And this time you should think about. This time all y'all should think about on this live today. Before I, I mean, I'm finna get a massage and I can still talk to y'all. No big deal. But I'm finna be, my phone finna be up in the air. That's all. It's always up. But listen, this is something I want y'all to think about, right? Instead of being mean today and worry about everybody else being this and I know we're gonna go on Instagram. Let's get let's get on Instagram. Do Instagram. I see because we like Instagram. I like Instagram. We all like Instagram. We give it that, right? But I want all y'all to think about something today. Okay. It's 16, 16 years. Listen. What is it that we can create? That everybody in the world need. You know, like one time somebody created the damn TV. You know, somebody created that damn um that damn um ring light. You know somebody created the ring light. And they made a bunch of goddamn money with the ring light. Did you know that? <laughs> I'm just telling y'all. We gotta put our thoughts together into some more shit because. This ain't it. This ain't it. This ain't it. We got to come up with the internet. They created the internet. That was intelligent, but it took some people to come together and create it. All I'm saying is we need to start putting our minds together to come up with other things to put out here in the universe that we need in the universe. We can't even think about the stuff we need in the universe because we so busy caught up on all this other shit. Don't y'all know our world's supposed to be 
way ahead. It's we in twenty twenty one. Like I thought we supposed to have cars that were flying. I thought it's supposed to be shit. Well, I could get to Africa in five minutes. What the fuck are y'all doing? See, y'all not putting y'all mind together to make shit happen. Y'all all worry about the wrong thing. The fuck. Oh my god, I don't think y'all understand. I'm saying it again, like we are so lost on the wrong shit. Instead of trying to figure out like how the fuck, what's the next thing we're gonna make? What's going on? Like, this is what I want to talk about. Like, I'm kidding about what nobody else got going on. Man, I'm not thinking about no fucking gorilla glue. Gorilla glue is already been in our company, fool. I don't even fuck about them. I'm talking about some shit we can come up with to make a billion dollars. You telling me something about some motherfucking Gorilla Glue? I don't give a fuck. They straight. Tell me about what we can do to make some motherfucking money. Please. Don't tell me about who, who done did nothing to nobody. I don't give a fuck. This is what I want to talk about for now when we come on here. What can we come together with our brain and make some goddamn money? It's 1,400 of us on this bitch. It usually take about 1,400 people to come up with a damn good company where, you know, you could be billionaires. What's up? Seen that man who made Tesla. He had a fucking vision. He had a dream, and that nigga made Tesla. That motherfucker rich. Oh my god, y'all don't even understand. y'all want to understand. And this is why black people so fucked up. You want to get into this? This is why we so fucked up. See, this is why we so fucked up. Cause we'd rather hear some bullshit. Then they hear how we can change our mind and come out of poverty. This is why we fucked up. You would rather stay in poverty than to come up with a motherfucking million dollar idea. Man. Y'all done showed y'all colors to me today. I thank God for this. Mm. I thank God for this conversation. This shit deep. We would rather listen to the bullshit than to figure out how to come together and create some shit with our mind that nobody else they ever thought about. The fuck? But you would rather keep telling me about some bullshit that ain't gonna do nothing but keep you in bondage other than trying to figure out how the fuck we gonna grow and escalate to the next level. Like, what? I don't gotta show my face. I'm talking like this. If you got ideas, baby, and you trying to get them out, then you ain't talk to your God. You ain't talk to your father who you believe in. Because when you believe in God and you put your shit the way you're supposed to put it, your idea will be out because he'll get it out. Now, sometimes we have ideas that ain't hitting no shit. Now. Sometimes we be having ideas that ain't hitting about shit. Sometimes we have ideas that don't be worth hitting on shit. You got a new sex move, baby. That ain't no fucking idea, you duck. Oh, shit, daddy. We'll, we'll check transportation. That was, that was a good one, girl. Since daddy, are you smart? You real, real smart. I just think you, um... Baby, I'm not trying to say a shit. Keep your idea for yourself. I'm just waking up your mind. We got a sheet sign you. Okay, I'm ready. I didn't know we got one from me now because I didn't know. I don't want your damn idea. I'm telling you what we need to be trying to come up with. Baby, mm -mm, nah, nah, nah. That's right. You said a real one. I like that. Oh, I, uh -uh. I want you to come up here and tell the people what you just said because this is, this, is, this is strong to me. I want to move in purpose and alignment and make money. Man, that was so strong with that lady just said, I want to move in purpose and alignment and make money. And I love that. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I, you know, I try to go with something like that, right? You know, my stupid ass used to be in the house, like, I'd be on the phone like this. Let me show you something. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> Look, y'all. Yeah, I, used, I would be on the phone. <laughs> I was thinking about that same shit, girl. How can I come up with something that you hold that phone to your face like? Girl, I was thinking about the same thing. I am not lying. Like, how can you attach that phone? Because you know you can't be on the phone talking, and sometimes your car be tripping. So I was like, how can I? You know what I'm saying? What can I? How can I make that happen? Like, put it. I know it can't be in a bunny, but this would be a good ass girl. What you say, girl? What you doing, girl? Hell yeah, girl. I'm. You know what I'm saying? I was trying my best to think about how in the fuck could I have some like. What you was saying, girl? Where you at? Yes, girl, me too, bitch. All right, nigga, I'm finna pull up. And that motherfucker and keep that bitch still in there and still be talking your shit. I really wanted to come out with an invention like this. I ain't lying. Baby, I'm not on here promoting, though. I thank God for your wig hat. They been came out with them. It's plenty of people got wig hats, sweetheart. I see you coming. I see you rolling accordingly. But I'm not on here promoting. I'm on here trying to figure out how we can come up with new ideas, sweetheart. I didn't tell you to come on here and promote your wig line. If you want a promo, baby, you can hit me up. I got you. What's up, Oliver? No, baby. It's called an ear pod, but them ear pods get on my motherfucking nerves sticking in my ear. And they aggravating and they hurt. But if I had my phone, well, my phone could be right here, okay? This could be okay for me. I'm comfortable with this more than I am with the ear pod. I have them. You think I ain't got them? Is you crazy? <laughs> She she trying me like airport. Like I know that. I hate, I hate them. I hate some in my ear all day. I don't know. You might like them because they cool. You can say, "Hey, switching my phone," but I hate them. That is a lot of radiation, but it's a lot of radiation. Radiation when you on your phone anyway. Hello, how are you? You talking on the phone like this anyway, though. Everything causes cancer. But you're on the phone like this anyway, right? Hello, how you doing? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Whatever. I'm so sorry to, you know, try to come up with ideas and y'all get mad. Well, guess what? Figure out how the fuck you could take the radiation out the goddamn phone. Figure out how you could take the radiation out the phones. Now that's something we can think about. How can we get radiation out the phones? Hmm? Then I wanted to come out with some heated socks or whatever. But somebody came out with the heated socks. You know, like, the socks you can walk around and shit, and they be heat at the bottom. I wanted to do that, too. But then somebody came out with that. That was cute. Mm. I always be thinking about shit. Great idea, right? How to get the radiation out the phone. Hell, how to get the goddamn cancer out your body. Shit. It's so much shit we need to be thinking about. And then, I was thinking about, I don't know if some of y'all like me. Like me, I like for my feet to be cold. All, I mean, I like for my feet to be hot all the time. The rest of my body can be cold. My feet, I want them hot. Somebody always take my ideas. I don't give a fuck. I've been over that. God told me he get ideas for me to give them to other people. So I don't give a fuck. I've been out my feelings with somebody taking my idea because what's for me, for me. So, it ain't nobody took shit. That must have been for you. Uh, we do need to change what we eat, though. Mm -hmm. It's good, I know. You enjoy it. I did too, son. <laughs> but I had to smoke the weed. Oh, definitely, definitely. Thank you. Spam's got the best breakfast. Where I need to know that. Five minutes up the street. 